Hi, my name is Stephanie Millwood. I feel very, very privileged to be asked to be a patron for the wonderful charity Just For Children. Thank you very, very much. I would like to explain uh, who I am, basically. Um, yeah, um, I had a British record at the age of 16. I'm a, para I'm a swimmer, I'm a Paralympic swimmer at the moment. Um, but at the age of 16, I was an able-bodied swimmer. And I had this British record and I had dreams of going to the Sydney Olympics in the year 2000. Um, and everything was going perfectly, absolutely wonderfully. Um, I had dreams of, you know, having a gold medal around my neck. It was absolutely fantastic. But unfortunately, I didn't make it to Sydney. Uh, instead, I went blind and was paralysed and I wasn't very well at all. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, which is an incurable disease uh, at the age of 17, which is <laughs> was not a nice surprise. My dreams of, of going to the Olympics and of winning gold medals, you know, was, was destroyed, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm just, just hoping that you will keep on going, keep on trying, even though your dreams are destroyed. Um, when, I, when I went blind, it was, it was very lonely, it was very, very sad. And um, I'm glad I went blind because it made me realise how lonely you can be, how isolated you can be. So I know how a lot of you feel, feel on your occasions when you, you're on your own. Um, I employed somebody to, uh, like a personal trainer, to reteach me how to stand and how to walk again. And so I relearned how to do all the skills that you learn while you're still a child. Um, I relearned to walk, and um, now I, I can walk quite well, which is good. Um, but I also asked my mum to come with me to go to the swimming pool so I can try and swim again. Um, and she said, "Yeah, sure." So she came with me, and she helped me get into the pool, and she helped me get out of the pool after. And I love swimming. And um, and she said, I'm sorry, Stephanie, I, I can't come with you again. It's too sad for me. So um, I won't be able to come and watch you, watch you swim again. I said, okay, all right. If, if I'm gonna, I realized then that if I wanted to do anything, I had to do it for myself. I had to, had to do it on my own for myself. And that is a power that you have to invest in yourself. Um, so I went to the pool every, every other day and I kept on swimming, getting faster, getting better and getting stronger and realizing something uh, you know, realising a dream that I love doing, I love swimming. While I was in the pool one day, a friend of mine asked me to go and teach um, uh, one of his friends how to swim because his friend was wanting to do a triathlon, um, but he was useless at swimming. <laughs> so so I went over and I taught him how to swim and I really enjoyed that. Um, um, I'm now married to this guy, he's called Adrian McHugh. I'm, I married him in 2013 um, and, he, and Adrian was the one who said, why don't you go back and be a Paralympic swimmer? And I said, no, no, I can't be a Paralympic swimmer. I'm too old, you know, um, I'm too disabled. I can't do that. And he said, yeah, sure, you've still got your strokes. You still love swimming. You know, why don't you go back and be a Paralympic swimmer? Go for 2012. Um, if for London, you'll have the whole of the home crowd behind you. And I said, I said, no, but obviously the little lights, lights had twicked. And I thought, yeah, my Olympic dreams might come alive again. So I started training. We, we went, well, we moved all the way to Swansea because there was a coach who could offer me you know, that chance to coach me. Um, and so I moved to Billy Pye, which was a coach's name in Swansea. And he got me ready for, 20, uh, for 2008, which was the Beijing Paralympics. So I flew to Beijing and uh, I came fourth, fifth and sixth, which of seven weeks of training is not too, not too bad. <laughs> so, and then four years later, I went to London 2012 and I won four, uh, four silver medals and one bronze medal. Yes. So, so my, my dreams had been realized. I'd gone to the Paralympics. So I had been to the Olympic Games, I had, had won a medal, which is fantastic. Um, the year after I went to the World Championships in Canada and I won four gold medals and one silver. Yes. <laughs> so which is wonderful, that made me four-time world champion, which is incredible. Um, the year after it was the Europeans and I won five, five gold medals, which was wonderful. Um, and then at the moment we've got 96 days until Rio Paralympics, so hopefully, hopefully I'll do well in Rio, hopefully. Um, so all my dreams are still going, I'm almost doing, my dreams are still alive just because I believe in myself and that is one thing I want you all to believe. Believe in yourself, you can do anything, just just believe it, believe it and anything can be true, anything can come true. Um, I love I love being, you know, a part of this Bags for Children, uh, this Just for Children charity, um, just because, I don't know, I feel honoured, I feel, I feel amazed to be a part of such a wonderful, wonderful charity. Yeah, Just for Children um, helps to make the lives of, of disabled children that much easier, that much, you know, much more inspiring, that much better. Um, and I believe that I can, you know, help to, to offer hope and inspiration to all the people who are, who are wanting it or people who are needing it. 
So I feel honoured to be a part of this charity. Thank you very, very much. It is such an inspiring cause. Thank you. I am bracing. I've got to turn this thing off. I've got to stretch.